Before you install your modified camshaft, be sure to cover all of your parts with a nice coat of motor oil. You should also apply some oil to the camshaft seats in the crankcase, valve assembly surfaces, and the cylinder. Your main bearings, crankshafts, and other internal lubrication points should have enough residual oil to complete the initial camshaft test. Install the exhaust tappet into its port. Rotate the flywheel until the piston is at top dead center or all the way up into the cylinder. Note the position of the indicator on the camshaft gear and install it to align with the indicator on the crankshaft gear. Using a good gasket to ensure proper clearances, reinstall your crankcase cover. You can just snug it up with a couple of bolts at first. Make sure that the engine turns freely without any binding or grinding. Place a pencil into the spark plug hole against the top of the piston and gently rotate the flywheel clockwise to feel the piston moving up and down. When the piston is at its highest point, make alignment marks on the crankcase and flywheel. This is your top dead center indicator. Next, rotate the flywheel until the piston is at its lowest point and mark the flywheel where it aligns with the same point on the crankcase. This is your bottom dead center indicator. Install your push rod. Rotate the flywheel clockwise to be sure the push rod is moving up and down, and then bring the flywheel to top dead center. Install your rocker. If you had a cap on your valve, don't forget it. Tighten your adjustment nut or screw until it is just snug but not applying pressure to the valve. Rotate your flywheel 360 degrees back to top dead center and check the adjustment again. Continue this a few times, checking the adjustment and making sure that the whole assembly is operating smoothly and there is no pressure on the rocker at top dead center. Set whatever lock nut your platform provides. You have now set your assembly so that the valve is fully closed as the piston reaches top dead center. Rotate your engine so that the flywheel has just passed your top dead center mark. Apply some air pressure into the spark plug hole and listen. Our standard engine is not running evenly and the new lobe will require adjustment. Our Hemi sounds even and smooth and doesn't require adjustment at this point. On our standard engine, we must add or remove some material from our new lobe, but how do we know what's needed? First have a look at what we're adjusting. 
As the tappet follows the cam, it applies pressure to the rocker and begins to open the valve at this point, which we will call the leading edge of the lobe. It finishes closing the valve and relaxes at this point, which we will call the trailing edge of the lobe. We will mark these points on the flywheel for each lobe using the following procedure. Place one hand on the rocker and try and wiggle it as you slowly rotate the engine. As soon as you can feel and hear it wiggle, stop rotating and mark the flywheel against your previous crankcase marking. Rotate 360 degrees using the same procedure and make a second marking. You have just marked where each of your lobes is allowing the valve to be fully closed. The factory lobe will allow the valve to close just before top dead center. In this case, our new lobe has too much material on the trailing edge and is holding the valve open just a bit too long. Repeat the procedure with the bottom dead center, except that this time you will wiggle the rocker and mark the flywheel at the point where the rocker just begins to tighten. You have now marked where each of the lobes are beginning to open the valve. Your factory lobe will begin to engage just before bottom dead center. Both of our lobes are very close, so our bottom dead center adjustment is fine. Let's get some material off the trailing edge of that lobe. Remember, it's easier to remove than to add, so take off only a little at a time. We have shaved a bit off the standard lobe with a file and it's back in the engine, so let's see how we did. It sounds much better, so let's apply some more air pressure. And now for the Hemi. Take your time analyzing and finishing your camshaft. We are now ready to address the lubrication modifications and get the engine ready for steam. Proceed to video number 4 using the link provided in the description of this video.